So let's begin. We have Palace of Swords and the Page of Cups, Communication of Love, a world of communication of love, actually. Palace of Swords speaks of a lot of things to do, to say, to take action on, to be smart about. And with the Page of Cups, of course, this um, feels like, again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio can be. But these are apologies, a new emotional experience, a new offer of love, one that is doesn't really start from scratch, right? And we have the Palace of Swords again with the Five of Wands. What's going on? We may be conflicted. Should I give them a chance or not? Should I answer the message or not? You know, do I have something to say? Do I want them to boil a little bit, right? Five of Wands, Three of Wands, and yet waiting. Somebody is waiting on you, Virgo. You wait on somebody and we might be a little bit conflicted about or this is your soulmate being conflicted about. I am trying to shuffle the cards and not um, make a lot of noise because I know guys you are annoyed. Especially if you have earbuds, it's like, oh my God. Queen of Pentacles, this is you and the Five of Wands. Oh, now we know you, we are a little bit conflicted about this person. Okay, but let's see why. Let's see why we don't have Page of Cups. This is baby, I'm so sorry I messed up. Five of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Partnership, we are conflicted about a partnership or the possibility of or the um, groundiness of it. Is it possible? Is it going to be stable? I'm going to take this one because I want it to come out. We have the Two of Cups. Oh my God, completely jumped from the deck. Two of Cups, there is a soulmate bond there. And the world of love between you and this person. Bottom of the deck, six of cups. Are you kidding me? Two of cups, six of cups, and the temperance. Knight of swords might be really a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius that's involved here. A Sagittarius can be. I would say explosive love. We do have the tower with an, the with an knight of pentacles, which is you. But six of cups, two of cups, and the tower is like, this is boom. This is passion, emotion love soulmate bond this is like the forever kind of and the knight of swords gemini libra or aquarius energy um temperance baby let's heal this let's compromise let's find a solution let's get back in balance um you know you bring something i bring something and together it's a beautiful um a whole connection oh beautiful so Virgo, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Let's have the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let's have the possible outcome for the third week of June. But again, you know how time is fluid in tarot and different. And look at the strength. Oh my lord, right? And we do have the Knight of Swords again. Well, this speaks of strength and courage and compromise and coming forward with, um, you know, this is my heart and I'm giving it to you. And you had Knight, Knight of Swords in reverse and now you have it upright. Are you kidding me with the Ten of Cups? Oh, beautiful. Simply beautiful. Two of Cups, Six of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Well, that's a world of happiness, Virgo. A world of of happiness, of compromise, of solutions, of healing, of action, and strength, courage, right? Beautiful Leo energy. Sagittarius energy, Leo energy, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, twice. Oh, beautiful. The overall, I mean, we can stop the reading here, right? That is absolutely. So, my take on it, Virgo, is that this is about a fire sign. Even if we have swords and it, it is more about action. So um, somebody not taking action with a knight of swords in reverse will take action, right? And I say that because in the past you do have the nine, nine of cups and you have the queen of wands. A fire sign that you desired, wanted, they were your wish fulfillment. They were the only one to make you happy. This energy is like seeing somebody from a distance, this is how it feels, and having your eyes on them and only on them, right? It's like um, they had something sexy, appealing, 
beautiful. There was something easy going about them. Um, there's an energy of happy and the social bumblebee with the queen of wands. And they just became, um, you know, kind of the object of your um, desires and wishes and manifestations and love. And because we have the two of cups and the six of cups, kind of tells me, uh, Virgo, that this person felt like home. Um, felt like we always, uh, we've always known them. Um, the way they talk, the way they walk, the way they express themselves there, um, the way they were looking at you or at things, doing things, you know, it felt like, um, yeah, I've known this person. I've spent a lifetime with them. This is how it felt. And it's all here. Now this person of yours, we have them in the Knight of Pentacles energy. This is your energy. So yeah, they were seeing you very well. And the Seven of Wands in reverse. They took a chance. They took a risk. And I believe with all this love, they love you too. That's exactly the energy, you know. They could have been defensive with the Seven of Wands and blocking and not ready. Every time I see the Seven of Wands, it is the energy of, yeah, I'm not ready. I still need my time, my space. I need to evolve. I need I need to understand better. I need to get my passion back. That's about the ones. But in reverse, it's like, I might not be ready, but I'm willing to give it a chance. This person, Virgo, this is how, how they feel. And because of the um, your energy there in reverse, right? Again, is this sense of um, observing from a distance, uh, Virgo? This is how it feels. It's like, a distance but not that distant you know it's like um you know people working together um you know people being in the same environment um you know um going to the same places and and then we noticed each other and it was like oh, i'm gonna give them a chance and on your side is more the energy of i want them i want them Probably there was, oh my god, look at this, five of pentacles and the three of swords, right? Life got in your way and in their way and somebody got hurt in the process. I'm not sure communication was good. The desire was there, your energy was all over them, your en their energy was all over you. But then five of pentacles, this is this fix of separation, this fix of not being able to communicate with each other, this fix of... Um, Heartbreak because of distance and communication being uh, poor. And um, both of you got hurt by whatever happened. This is mutual energies between the two of you. Five of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Feeling lonely, feeling misunderstood, feeling rejected, feeling that this is a cold energy between the two of you. And because of it, in a heartbreak and trying to recover probably you know how it feels for god it feels like a community uh, like a connection that never really took off properly despite the wish fulfillment despite the cups despite of i am going to try and take a risk no matter what right this is the energy right there so where are we right now we are a little bit confused seven of cups we don't know what's going on we want to know um i'm not sensing that you look at options but there is honestly an energy here where somebody Virgo and can be the other energy or the other person uh, because of the queen of swords in reverse because of the unfairness of the situation because of the frustration uh, because of the anger um, because of lack of communication we don't know lack of clarity we might start to look at options like hell i'm not gonna wait so let me see what is out there right that is fish in the pond kind of energy but it's not for everybody i'm more sensing that we are in quest for understanding being smart about trying to make smart decisions and yet the conditions are not quite favorable um in you know in making that decision we just don't know we look at the cups and we don't see the full extent of the gifts in the cups right are we looking at the right thing you know, some questions, some food for thought, because the Queen of Swords in reverse, it is, are we looking at the right things? Are we having that clarity of the mind? Do we have enough perspective on the situation? Are we emotionally distant enough to see things? You know, we don't know. But you know, because you are in um, in this, so you know. Um, I know. 
and the illusion of it right i'm hearing this more this and the illusion of it we started with nine of cups yeah but this is everything that i want and then some you know this person um and of course it feels like uh playing uh, all your cards on on one uh number right but um and now we are kind of now what you know and the illusion of it of was it true was it not true what happened you know now this person of yours um eight of pentacles in reverse and the two of pentacles in reverse uh, i would say focusing on something else right now they might have financial issues that is a strong energy two of pentacles upright is my world is aligned because i'm making the effort i am um able enough to keep everything up and running in reverse it's like i'm throwing everything off and i'm not making the effort i am abandoning it i'm not sensing they are abandoning you it is a way too strong energy of work financial stability money um learning something school for some of you you might be dealing with somebody um still um educating themselves and with the two of pentacles in reverse is a sense of discouragement it's a sense of i feel like throwing all on the floor and leave it there for a while you know um and um and unsuccessful juggling honestly right it's like struggling it's um struggling with the current situation and the whole world is unstable around them um, Virgo. the whole world now mutual energy is between the two of you nine of pentacles and the nine of wands in reverse so both of you independent both of you are uh, single maybe uh, nine of pentacles right um, and the nine of wands in reverse, it has a sense of recovery. It, ha it has a sense of perseverance. It has a sense of I am going to heal my bandages full of blood and my wounds, of course, and I'm going to take off the bandages. But it's, um, I know, I know. That is a sense of pain, um, but being independent that is a sense of um, loneliness nine of wands is the energy of um, loneliness is the energy of i'm going to stay behind my nine ones because i need my time and i need to recover and get back on my feet again two different energies i know right one of um, one of abundance i'm more sensing uh, virgo you are more independent in this one you might have a little bit of frustration and confusion but at the end of the day you stay on your two feet and um and and it, it, we're good right we're doing the work and we are abundant in our environment and we feel stable maybe confused about this connection but stable as the overall energy of this all while this person they might actually because combined uh, somebody is healing a financial situation here and can be both of you actually focused on money independence and healing with the nine of wands opening up to opportunities nine of wands in reverse is i've been blocked i've been in self-protection mode but now i'm opening up for financial stability independence opening up a business uh, uh, looking for partnership to start something that might make both of you um, abundant this is the energy but i'm sensing a distance between you but what's coming your way it's simply crazy right with the overall energy virgo coming your way we do have the sun in reverse leo energy and we do have the tower right so this um, situation is um, explosive it's combined with the most happy energy in the world and this does look like a happy surprise and it makes sense two of cups six of cups ten of cups are you kidding me we are taking all of the overall energy so that is surprising happiness coming your way surprising truth surprising awakening happiness in in terms of um, choices that we've made or this person making choices towards you and coming as a surprise that is a big element of surprise i mean the sun in the tower you're kidding me it speaks um for itself right now we're got this person of yours ace of swords and the king of cups this is the energy of pisces cancer scorpio this is the energy of love this is the energy of emotions but both energies are in reverse right 
So this is them being a little bit guarded about their emotions, guarded about their communication, um, and also trying to get back on their feet, right, emotionally. Um, Ace of Swords is longing because it's reversed for them. This is longing for a new beginning. This is longing for clarity of the mind. This is by excellence the combination. I hope I am going to be able to see, to gain my emotional strength, to be able to have a new vision and to see my new chapter, my new step. Um, I feel they, they might have um, gone through this um, financial crisis of some sort and cut them all um, possibilities of, um, you know, of dreaming and expansion. You know, the instability of it kind of doesn't allow us, right, to have dreams uh, just yet, but we focus on making things work, right? So this is how I feel. Uh, this person is and the energy is coming your, their way we do have the four of swords in reverse and the knight of cups this is my i love you i want you i want to make love to you card and the four of swords breakup is over this is the mutual energies and i i'm sensing this breakup is so over and there is so much love that is a world of love here and mutual energy is coming both your way is knight of cups and let's talk again let's communicate again let's open lines of communication let's have more information let's um, dissipate the confusion right uh, and let's be happy again with the sun right let us be happy again and the overall energy stagnation moves into action into happy action actually stagnation with the knight of swords in reverse moves into a full um uh, bloom of this bond now let's ask for some guidance um virgo let's see what we need to do in regards to this connection regarding right let's see we do have physical touch we need to get closer a tender touch can mean so much somebody is actually guided to have um, right a physical bond with this person like attracts like if you long for more love be more loving so for I do believe that you are guided towards this person right but you have to use your better judgment this is the energy of getting closer getting in touch keeping in touch with a physical touch and also you know if you want love you have to express love and I, I'm sensing you want love and happiness and you might be confused. So how about starting with, you know what, I'm kind of confused. I would love to talk to you. So Virgo, let's ask for some guidance, baby. Let's see what we, what else we need to do. We know we need to get closer and we need to speak with love. And now we have 10 of abundance. So heaven has, has provided so many blessings and we do have the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Are you kidding me? I want to be a Virgo today. I'm kidding. Your family members are bonded and working together. Um, the children are provided for and the comfortable retirement will one day come along. You've taught your family the grace that comes from knowing right from wrong and you should be very proud. So family and abundance and we do have the five of action five of wands in this deck so your angels want you to know that your current challenges pushes you to be assertive and self-confident be willing to stand up for yourself and defend your position you have the right to excuse yourself from those who bring drama into your life simply amazing simply beautiful we need to keep fighting for your abundance your stability your family your kids your relationship with this person speak with love and get closer so let's see what we need to put back into the flow we do have failure i understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn so we need to uh, bring back into the flow this energy of learning this energy of opportunities this energy of this was not a failure actually it was an opportunity to grow we do have joy we need to bring joy back into the flow in this connection so surrender to joy a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times 
keep surrendering to more joy beautiful we have failure and guilt Virgo I don't know maybe you feel guilty and you feel that you contributed to this connection being um, you know being on 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 difficult times so you are guided to I release my beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth okay no guilt we push away the negative guilt and blame are you kidding me i cannot make this one up i don't know who's uh what what is the blame game but i accept responsibility for my well-being we need to bring well-being back into the flow and nobody is responsible for your well-being and humor a little bit of fun i adore this I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. We are taking things way too seriously. You have humor and joy. We need to have more fun. Okay. So, um, Virgo, this is all that I have for you guys. I wish you all the best. Please stay strong and safe for me. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.